Hello, it's Finavar and welcome to my studio. Today, I want to show you a collage including new stencil for Prima My Cutting, skylights, and beautiful dimensional metallic composition with a lot of drama. The whole composition is based on the multiple elements glued on the top of the small canvas. I start the whole process with painting the canvas with the black gesso, art basics, uh, black heavy gesso works very quickly and it's great for your mixed media. Once my black gesso is dry, next step is using icing paste. This is beautiful gel-based metallic paste that works beautifully with stencils. I find the right position of my uh, Skylights stencil and I use my silicone brush to uh, apply the icing paste on the top of the canvas. I dry everything completely using my heat gun and then the background is ready to work on. Now I can use my heavy body gel to make a composition of the elements I like. Got a selection of uh, resin elements I made using different molds I create for Prima Marketing. There are pieces of frame, there are butterflies, there are some gears, all that is going to give me nice, uh, grungy, multi-layered composition. Heavy body gel is very thick and sticky gel medium, so even the biggest and the heaviest elements, they stay in place easily. After I glue, I remove the excess of the gel using my brush and uh, I can dry it so they're going to stay securely in place. My uh, focal point is going to be a quite large uh, steampunk uh, butterfly and I want it to be on, uh, on the top of the large gear. So I will support the gear using a piece of cardboard. This way it will be easier to stick it on the layers. And then on the top of that, I'm able to put my focal point. Every time when I glue dimensional elements, I use quite a good portion of the gel medium. This way I'm sure all the layers are going to really stick to each other and all the empty spots are going to be filled with gel. This is very hard to break after drying. This kind of um, project works great as a home decor because uh, the elements stay in place securely. Once the biggest elements are in, I continue adding smaller details such as crown and a mini butterfly. And this way uh, I work on the uh, main body of the composition. Next elements are metal flowers, which are adding a little bit of the nice um, natural backdrop for the butterfly. And I try to put them into good balance on both sides of the composition. I dry it all a little bit with the heat gun and add final details, which are uh, pebbles. And these are um, really nice, uh, delicate touches you can add to your composition at any time. They are great for filling the gaps or making the composition a little bit more airy and light. Again, I dry everything completely with the heat gun. Before painting, it's so important to make sure elements are not moving. Now I take my black gesso and I cover all of the composition with the good coat of uh, gesso to get nice matte finish and to make it easy for me to apply the products on the top. I try to go into all of the spaces and cavities and this way make sure that I have beautiful dark shadow.
Again, I make sure my gesso is completely dry. I dry it with the heat gun or let it dry naturally. And once it is matte, I can continue. Now I'm going to go to metallic waxes, peacock and electric violet. I take the first color on my brush. I try to remove the excess on the piece of paper and I start brushing my peacock, which is turquoise color, on the top of my embellishments. I try not to go too deep so I can still see the mm, black background in selected parts, but uh, all the waxes will reveal the details of my embellishments in a beautiful way. Then I change the brush and I uh, repeat the same step using electric violet wax. I try to go in the places where I missed before and in some parts I let the waxes blend together a little bit so they really have this beautiful color transition. I continue working with waxes, going a little bit further away from the composition, going on the background to um, blend our um, stencil and black canvas together with the grungy composition sitting on the top. I use the same two colors, electric violet and peacock, and I try to make sure I just um, give this natural uh, layer of color. Once I'm happy with the color of the background, I take two more metallic waxes, old silver and um, aged brass. Aged brass is beautifully matching the color of the icing paste I use with the stencil. So I start with that and using my finger, I rub a bit of the aged brass on the top of the details to reveal how beautiful they are. Using my finger makes it easy to color just the tops and to make sure the bottom parts of the design are still purple and uh, turquoise. In some parts where I can't really go with my finger, I can help myself with a little brush, but most of the times I try to only rub it with the uh, finger so that the colors in the background are clearly visible. To make some parts of the composition a tiny bit lighter, I switch to the old silver, which is a delicate, shiny silver tone, and I add more of the highlights on the top of my mouth and the crown, so there is even more of the attention going on the focal point. I take a small brush and I blend a tiny bit of the silver in other parts to make them lighter and then I play with the waxes to make sure everything is nicely blended together.
once I'm done with the waxes there is time for extra shine and kick and for this step I'm going to use Art Alchemy Sparks Ginger Magic Paint. It's beautiful golden orange and it's going to shine in amazing way on the wings and the crown so I apply it with my smaller brush and add it watered down on my composition to get this amazing sparkle. When adding a little bit of water to the acrylic paint, you make it more transparent. And here, that means there will be less of the orange visible and more of this beautiful golden mica. So I work with this um, super golden glaze and I add a little bit of extra water to make sure I will marry all the layers together using this gold shine. After drying, the color it reveals is just amazing. So I feel I have to tone it down in some parts a little bit using the waxes again. For example, I go back to a bit of purple and peacock in some parts to break it. Problem with the technique, uh, with the paint and water, it is hard to control where it goes. So it's kind of natural. After you finish, you will need to add a tiny bit of the uh, finishing touches and do a little bit of the cleanup. Luckily you still have your waxes on the table and you can add all the extra details you need. So I go back to my silver wax and I go back to my colorful waxes and this way uh, on the top of this ultra gold now we've got uh, our details back again. To finish it all up, I take a bit of the watered down paint on the brush and I hit it with the other brush to create tiny uh, golden splatters, these beautiful dots all the way around the composition to give it more magical and dynamic look. After drying, this effect will be completely permanent. Now the stencil and the splatters and the whole composition create a really striking and beautiful image. This is great design for your collage or for your home decor and you can make so many cool things using that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got a bit inspired and you are now uh, planning to include some of these techniques into your own uh, creative time. Thank you for being here and thank you for your support. If you'd like to see more of the similar videos, check, out, check my YouTube channel, subscribe, check my other YouTube channels and Instagram and Facebook and stay tuned for all the updates.